going to be up there battling for race wins and podiums. And can he maybe become our fifth different race winner from six races? Only Max Futrell has had a double victory in the championship so far. The last couple of rows then lining up. Chris Hartley here trackside overlooking them uh, from my box, my vantage point at Woodcut Corner. The cars are just in front of me now and are all lined up on the grid, ready to go racing. Melesi and Sargent on the front row of the grid. The red lights go out. We are racing here at Silverstone. Good starts from each of the top three, it seems. Keep an eye on Max Futrell coming through the order as well. But it is going to be Melesi with the red wing mirrors that's got the lead on the race from Logan Sargent, his teammate there. The number one car is Max Futrell trying to find his way through after Rougier just ahead of him. Logan Sargent already showing his nose here as they make their way into the Vegas Tessies for the first time. The championship leader yeah, is right behind them in third place uh, and hanging on to the very back. So at this stage of the race, Christian Lundgaard is next up in fourth place. And it's Max de Forne, only one podium for him this year, one of the most experienced drivers out there in his third season of the championship. He needs a good result and he needs them to start coming. Let's see what he can do after a bit of a disappointing race yesterday. But Melesi has had a perfect start to the race. Showing his nose here is Christian Lundgaard trying to come around the outside of your VA. We didn't see, haven't seen much of Christian all weekend long, really, at the sharp end of the field. But he's normally up there. And now he's going for it on the way into Val Corner. He's fully alongside. Yeah, he has to go on the attack around the outside of Logan Sargent. He's forced to do that because the inside line. And he finds a bright yellow machine there. And in the end, they all get through with no dramas. There's drama further back, though. That's one of the Renault Sport Academy cars that's gone off and round two cars off and in stride uh, from the big pack now that was in and around Max Futrell and uh, Otto Rougier so we'll get a view on that when they come back around that is the problem though we've been stuck in the middle of the group these sorts of things as we saw in yesterday's race can happen around you so 